This is a completed playtest video of Dan Cassell's Slimline Master, um, the slight wide body version because he's opted for a 24 inch LCD screen and if you look closely at the control panel we've also got a centre mounted spinner with aluminium top. Um, this customer's chosen a uh, full deluxe artwork package, uh, it's full custom artwork designed by us. It's been modified from the original Space Invaders artwork, but to suit our slimline profile, looks quite well with the large invader there, and we've modified it with the customer's name and kept the manufacturer logo. We've got the same, if I zoom in to try and reduce the flare from the backlight, we've got it there as Dan Invaders with the invaders at the sides, um, next to the 24 inch screen there and we've got a similar theme along the control panel with a fairly standard button layout and button colour scheme differentiating player 1 and 2 with blue and green to player 2 red and orange let's go around the other side a quick shot of the side art down there as well so there's not, no room on a slimline master for a track ball because of the sheer amount of mounting footprint needed underneath the control panel um, but if you see here this is a slightly wider slimline master um, and you can see there's plenty of room there for the spinner if I just place my hand there to give you an idea you're not fairing on any of the buttons or joysticks while you're playing it if you're using left hand or if I switch to right hand it's just as good you're not bumping against the joystick like that um, we're going to fire up out run here just to show you how that plays with it. It shows that um, racing games can be played quite well with um, with a spinner as the analogue control. Um, it's going to be difficult to do one handed but bear with me. Drop in a couple of credits. Um, leave the default sound up. So you've got the buttons to accelerate and gear up, gear down, but if I turn the very difficult to do, um, to give it a bit of acceleration, and I'll move down you'll see that turning turning the spinner actually steers the car and playing I mean I'm doing this one handed you can see how easy it is you can adjust the sensitivity if you want to to make it um, less sensitive or more sensitive if you want I've got a very low sensitivity makes playing out run very easy one handed but um, still going over there on full lock either side Makes playing games like Out Run quite fun when you haven't got the ability to add a wheel to a cabinet like this. Um, and yeah, that's the completed machine anyway. Um, it'll, I'll just um, fire up another joystick game just to quickly show that. And what else can I choose? But Space Invaders, got to be done. Appropriately themed for this cabinet. I've got it set up with the simple colour overlay on. I haven't put the background on, but you can activate that in the options if you want to. To have the artwork underlay, should I say. But as you can see, that fits quite nicely there with the, the whole theme of the cabinet. Got the Space Invaders side art, and then we're gonna have a quick blast off Space Invaders itself. Basic, but addictive, iconic, and fun. <laughs> um, this will be wrapped up now, ready to go up to the courier and to be shipped to Dan, ready to play 
hopefully sometime next week. I hope he enjoys it. And uh, we're, you know, we're big fans of this machine. We like the way it's turned out. We like the artwork and everything. And I hope we get to see some pictures from the customer in his new home.